Hey guys, it's the Tanman here doing what I love, and welcome back to another episode of NFL uh, Predictor. Last week we did week four, and today we'll be doing week five. Before we get on to week five predictions, man, I just want to say this was one of the craziest NFL weeks. From the Thursday night football, the Eagles upsetting Green Bay, uh, we had Tampa Bay beating the Rams in LA. We had a super defensive game there with the Saints and Cowboys. We had a crazy game of Kansas City and Detroit. The Panthers and Kyle Allen won their second game of the season. The Raiders won. The Browns won. Gardner Minshew's 2-0 in and starts. It was just a fantastic week. So let's get on to week number five. And week number five is going to begin with an NFC West battle between the Los Angeles Rams and Seattle Seahawks. Both teams are 3-1. and one. And for me, I've got the Seahawks winning. Um, the Rams defense didn't look that great against Tampa Bay. And for me, I just trust Russell Wilson um, more than Jared Goff. So I got the Seahawks winning. Next up, we have the Vikings and Giants. The Vikings are a better team on paper, but I think the Giants are going to win. They started out 0-2, but they've been 2-0 since Daniel Jones has started. I just think the Giants have a lot of momentum on their side. And I got the Giants winning in an upset game at home. Buccaneers and Saints. For me, I like what the Saints are doing. Their defense looks really good against the Cowboys. Teddy Bridgewater's not turning the ball over. He's playing pretty good. And they have a great running game. So I got them winning against the Buccaneers. Oh, man. I think this will be one of the best games of the week. The Green Bay Packers and the Dallas Cowboys facing on uh, Both teams are 3-1. and one. For me, I think this will be, like I said, one of the best games of the week. I really like Aaron Rodgers and that offense, but I don't know if Devontae Adams is healthy or not. And for me, the Packers have struggled with run defense. Last week in their loss to Philadelphia, they had trouble stopping the Eagles running back Jordan Howard. And uh, a couple weeks before that, they had trouble against the Vikings running back Dalvin Cook. So, And then this week, they go up against Ezekiel Elliott. So unless the Packers' run defense steps up, I've got the Cowboys winning. Let's go here to our AFC matchups. We have an AFC North division battle between the Ravens and Steelers. The Ravens lost, and they did look sloppy. Being a Ravens fan, it was tough to see, but I think they'll win here. I think they'll regroup and beat the Steelers. I think it'll be close, but I've got them winning. Then we have the Bills and Titans. Uh, man, the Bills, um, it's unfortunate about Josh Allen. I don't know the severity of his injury, but for me, if he's playing or not, I still think the Bills are going to win. I really like their defense. Their defense is easily a top five defense in the NFL, and I think that their offense does enough to put up points and win. The Titans, you know, they beat the Falcons and they look good, but they're too hot and cold, and I'll go for the more consistent team. Broncos and Chargers. The Broncos have not won a single game yet this season, and I think that will continue. Uh, LA is a good team, and I think the Broncos online has really struggled this season. And then for the Sunday night game, I've got the Chiefs as well. I like the Colts, but for me, I just think that the Chiefs are, um, are a better team. Um, Jacoby Brissett has played very well for Indy, but um, I mean, the Chiefs are one of the only undefeated teams in the NFL. Now we have the AFC versus NFC game. We have the Cardinals and Bengals. Both teams have not won a game, but I do think Arizona is going to win, and here's why. I just think that their offense has been a lot better than Cincinnati. David Johnson, the Cardinals running backs, had a really great season. Kyler Murray has showed some excitement, and the Bengals have just kind of looked eh, very mediocre on offense. So I've got Arizona winning the first game of the season. Jets and Eagles. The Jets have never beaten the Eagles, and I think that trend's going to stay. I think the Eagles are going to win. Next up here, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Carolina Panthers in the Battle of the Big Cats. For me, I think this will be one of the best games of the week. We have Gardner Minshew, the sixth-round quarterback who's 2-0 in starts, versus Kyle Allen, who was undrafted last year, and he's 2-0 in starts. For me, this is going to be a really great game. Um, both guys who are proving themselves in the NFL, both quarterbacks, I really love the story and the way they've been playing. For me, I've got Jacksonville. Um, I like Kyle Allen and Christian McCaffrey, but for me, the um, Panthers have struggled with good defensive lines. So I think that the Jaguars um, are going to win due to their defensive line. And I think Gardner Minshew has shown he has that clutch gene. 
Bears and Raiders here in London. I'm going to go with the Bears. I like their defense. Oakland's look good, but that Chicago defense is serious. Um, I could see the Raiders winning, but I think Chicago, I just like the defense a bit more. And plus, Tariq Cohen, I like. We have the undefeated Patriots playing against the Redskins, who have not won a game. And I think the Patriots are going to go 5-0, and the Redskins are going to go 0-5. Falcons and Texans, I think on this, I'm really excited for this game because on Atlanta, we have Matt Ryan and Julio Jones, and then on Houston, we have Deshaun Watson and DeAndre Hopkins. This game's going to be really fun. I think a lot of high uh, scoring, a lot of points are going to be scored. Um, so both explosive offenses, who has a better defense? I think the Texans do. J.J. Watts played very well, uh, Whitney Merciless. So I'm going with Houston here in a very exciting game. And then to finish out the week, oh, hold up. To finish out the week, we have the um, Browns playing against the 49ers here on Monday Night Football. I think this will be a great one. I think there's a lot of storylines on the week. The Browns are 2-2. Two and two. So, you know, if they win, this will show the league they are for real. But if the 49ers win, then they will go to 4-0 and remain undefeated. For me, I'm going with San Francisco. I just like their defense a bit more, and the Browns are too up and down. So with that, guys, that will do it for my Week 5 predictions. This should be a really exciting week. Let me know your guys' as, uh, thoughts down below. And the teams on the bye week this week are the Detroit Lions and the Miami Dolphins. All right, guys, hope you have a great rest of the day. I'll see you guys next time. This is Montana, doing a love.